Hello and welcome to the SoundTraining.net Fast Learn video. My name is Don Crawley and this time we're going to show you how to configure port forwarding with static network address translation, usually just called static NAT, on a Cisco router to perform PPTP pass-through. What can port forwarding do? In this case, it will allow an outside user on the internet, perhaps a mobile user working from the road, to connect with the Microsoft VPN client on their laptop to a VPN access server on your internal network. Now the Cisco router is at the edge of the network and it accepts the incoming request on its outside interface then forwards the packets to the VPN access server on the internal network. In the diagram that you're seeing right now, the VPN access server is located at 10.16.0.2 on the internal network. The router's outside interface has an address of 192.168.16.23, which the mobile laptop user will use when they want to connect to the VPN access server. There are really just five steps involved, assuming that the router is already configured with a base configuration. Number one, we identify and configure the inside interface as NAT inside. Number two, we identify and configure the outside interface as NAT outside, logically. Number three, we configure NAT overloading, also known as PAT, or Port Address Translation, which allows inside hosts to go out on the internet by sharing a single IP address on the outside interface. Number four, we configure an access control list to identify the inside host permitted to use NAT overloading. And finally, number five, we configure static NAT to forward the PPTP, port 1723 packets, from the outside interface to the VPN access server, in this case located at 10.16.0.2. I've placed a text file of this actual configuration on the SoundTraining.net website for you to download and follow along as I demo the configuration. It's free. All you do is just point your browser to www.soundtraining.net slash online store. Click on the link for free how-to guides. Go to the second page and then click on Cisco Config File PPTP Pass-Through Configuration File. So now, let's go set up PPTP port forwarding with static NAT. Now to do this, we're simply going to go through the five steps that we just mentioned. And uh, as you can see, we're already logged onto the router. We need to go into Privilege Mode, so we'll type Enable, abbreviating, um, abbreviating it Enable and put in our password which doesn't echo back. Now we're in privilege mode. We see that by the pound sign. We need to go into configuration mode with the command configure terminal, abbreviating it conf space t, probably the same way you do. Um, and now we're going to start by identifying our inside and outside NAT interfaces. And so we first go to uh, interface E0 slash 0, abbreviating it, uh, interface or INT E0 slash 0 for Ethernet 0 slash 0. Your router may only have uh, a single slot, so it may uh, have a different designation for the interfaces, but the concept is the same. Names may be slightly different, but the concept is the same. And now we're simply going to say IP NAT inside, and that tells network address translation that this is the interface to which our inside hosts are connected for the purposes of NAT. And now we're going to do the same thing, or something similar anyway, on E0 slash 1, except we're going to designate it as IP NAT outside, thus telling the, uh, the router that this is the interface that will have the single address shared by many on the, uh, on the outside. Next we need to configure our NAT overloading, more commonly called PAT or port address translation. This is the many to one mapping where you have many inside hosts that share a single IP address on the outside interface. Fairly simple command, IP NAT inside source list 101. This is saying use a uh, soon to be configured access control list numbered 101 to identify the hosts that can do uh, port address translation. Now we identify the outside interface that they're going to share, INT E0 slash 1, and then we use the command overload to indicate that this is being used for port address translation. Next we need to configure the access control list that we just referenced. So we're going to say access list 101. That number has to match the, the uh, inside source list statement. So 101 there, 101 here. And we're going to permit IP traffic from any source going to any destination. 
That's not as lenient as it may sound because the, the access list doesn't do anything until it's applied to, to an interface or to a function, and in this case it's only being applied to net overloading. The last step is uh, to actually configure the static translation, which is going to map the outside interface to the inside host. And we're going to be very specific on this. We're going to say only map PPTP traffic. And we're going to identify that by the PPTP port number, which is 1723. So here we go. Let's do IP NAT inside source static TCP to 10.16.0.2. That's our inside VPN access server. It's already configured. 1723, that's the port number for PPTP. And uh, interface E0 slash 1, again, our outside interface where the, the uh, incoming VPN packets are expected. And again, port 1723. And we'll go ahead and hit Enter. And now we've got it configured. Now, if I've done this right, we should be able to set up a connection from our outside Vista machine uh, using the uh, Microsoft client and connect to the inside server. Let's try it and see what happens. So, oops, I have to get out of our VM first. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and uh, build the connection to 192.168.16.23. Let me point out, that is the IP address of the outside interface on the router and we'll just call it VPN connection come down and click on next and let's see what happens now, I set it up for administrator in a real world you probably wouldn't do that but there we go and we'll go ahead and click connect let's see what happens here connecting to VPN there we see it's attempting the connection verifying username and password registering it on the network and we're authenticated and that's all there is to it five easy steps for configuring PPTP pass-through or port forwarding on a Cisco router. You can get more free videos, how-to guides, and upcoming seminar information online at www.soundtraining.net. You'll also find my blog at blog.soundtraining.net. For soundtraining.net, I'm Don Crawl. We'll see you in class.